Hey, welcome back to the Data Science with Kunal Naik show. Today we have with us Prashant Dixit. He is a class 10th student and also a Kaggle 2x expert at this particular age. So, uh, Prashant, welcome to the show and why don't you introduce yourself? Thanks sir for having me on the board. So, hey folks there, myself Prashant Dixit. I am a 10th grade student. Uh, I come from Banswara, a city, a small city in the state of Rajasthan, India. I'm a sort of person like who reads, who loves to read a lot and uh, want to explore stuff in the domain of data science. So that's a brief sketch of mine would be like. Nice, Prashant. So I, I noticed that you're reading uh, Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk. Yeah. Uh, one of your posts mentioned in LinkedIn. So uh, how come you found yourself that book? Like I was new to LinkedIn, so I was following people. I just love to make connections with people so i got to know about gary visa like i followed him a lot then i was really fascinated by his thoughts so i went on with uh, following him and i started reading his book crushing it and it's really uh, worth reading like uh, the thoughts he has are really fasc- uh, worth and fascinating and it is something that everyone should uh, give a read. Good that you're reading the books and also you're crushing it on LinkedIn. Uh, but before we come to the LinkedIn part, uh, I wanted yeah. to ask, first of all, how did you get introduced to data science field? Right. And, um, you know, who inspired you to come to this field? That's where we will start. Yeah, fine. So first of all, it all started in the mid of 2020 when I entered my 10th class session, uh, my mother urged me to think of fine, uh, like uh, future plans and a career. So it was like an ultimatum to me, but my, I was, <laughs> uh, but in one sense, I was give the free, I was having the freedom to choose my own career. Uh, so mm-hmm. I went through internet, like for searching for domains, which could in a good career. Uh, so I came across these words data science and data scientist. Uh, so I was really fascinated by the word itself. So I never uh, not gave a second thought to it and just thought to be one, uh, like whatever it asked me to do so. So I searched for it for uh, like some time. Uh, then I like what it is, how it works, all that stuff. And then I got to know that Python is something a core language used in data science uh, so I went with learning Python coincidentally I got to know that in class 10 we are going to teach Python so it was something a plus point for me I'm I am all mm-hmm. always in the uh, students who used to uh, takes interest in some learning something more than the class so it was also a good thing mm-hmm. like things like this, uh, this uh, really helped me and uh, then I went on with uh, learning Python and mm-hmm. at, at point I thought like okay I'm now good with Python so I started creating Python program for a class 10 maths uh, like I created a whole module like stuff or real file for arithmetic progressions mm-hmm. I also worked to implement statist- class 10 math statistics in Python so this was something that ignited the fire inside me for data science and Python. By any chance, do you end up teaching some of your students uh, in your classmates? And is there a group of students who are like equally passionate as you are in terms of no. doing programming or data science? No, I not uh, come across any like uh, my fr- not my friends, but I used yeah. to, to help people on LinkedIn. Like many people came to me like, what was <laughs> your journey? Like... It was really fascinating and fun, like helping them out. And this was something that I find fun in doing so. So now uh, Python programming, right? Uh, It is is a different ball game altogether, right? Uh, Was this the first time you're doing uh, uh, programming uh, with Python programming or did you do some other type of programming before? If we say like, if we uh, keeping aside the fact that HTML is a programming language or not, I used to do HTML, like uh, uh-huh. we were taught HTML in the okay. class 9th. So I was familiar with computers, like mm-hmm. I was really always fascinated with computers.
this so html was something that uh, i started with programming uh, on python is a different thing but uh, applying it on data science is a different uh, ball game together right you are dealing with data and then you have to uh, deal with algorithms also so what was the first step that you took like after programming what was the first step towards learning data science uh, if you say in one sense uh, just creating and learning things like the basic stuff like uh, learning modules like pandas and numpy was the first step i took it was really uh, important and altogether mm-hmm. it was fun learning them and uh, did you do free courses or paid courses or just from youtube you started learning like youtube and medium were the ultimate resource for me i never looked for any paid courses although they are really nice uh, like for me i mm-hmm. never ran for certificates and all that stuff like learning was prior to me over certificates and then mm-hmm. youtube is becoming a humongous resource like like uh, you can search for any topic any concept you want to clear you can just search it on youtube uh, it also and uh, over it it's uh, free of cost and if i i'm asked to like uh, mention some of the channels that i used to follow uh, first is mm-hmm. krishna x search youtube channel uh, like mm-hmm. he's things uh, mm-hmm. he teaches things really well for python programming i used mm-hmm. to follow telescope and code with harry like this uh, two channels mm-hmm. were really helpful in learning python like telescope for english listeners and one which uh, used to follow hindi playlist like for them code with harry i might i must suggest then for learning ml and ds mm-hmm. stuff i used to follow dhawal patel the owner of code basis like he created really great mm-hmm. playlist for ml and dl over that if uh, mm-hmm. you want to learn an advanced ml i would recommend uh, krishnaiv's uh, ml and dl playlists basically all free resources and you yeah. are able to uh, you know do lot of things mm-hmm. now after learning uh, obviously you have to put practice right now you you also um, you know came on to kaggle uh, and started and now you are also a kaggle 2x expert right so um, in 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 your journey how did you enter kaggle like who told you about kaggle and you, and uh, how did you enter kaggle like when i was learning to make machines learn uh, in one sense mm-hmm. i like we when we are doing machine learning we already always need data so i get to know that kaggle and uci mm-hmm. machine learning repositories are something that could provide me data with Uh, so i got family like i uh, went with kaggle uh, for like i was not mm-hmm. acti- uh, not that much that much active but i used it for having data till that time i was not knowing of like what is kaggle mainly of about like i was not knowing of kaggle notebooks and all this all that stuff like uh, at the, uh, mm-hmm. almost at the end of jan i got to know about kaggle notebooks so i till then i was fine with ml and python so i thought okay this is the time that i should uh, share my part of knowledge with the world so i started with the creative i created my first kaggle notebook on the topic real estate and price prediction of mm-hmm. bangalore house uh, data set uh, so that was something mm-hmm. really mm-hmm. fascinated me uh, till then i was till then i was also not knowing of medals and ranking all that stuff Uh, nor do i uh, uh, man- like uh, i don't think like okay it's fine okay you are ranking or getting medals it's just completely fine not just running behind them uh, like it is one thing i would like to mention that even if you are copy and edit the note others notebook it's really very important that you mm-hmm. get the concepts clear and you know this code like i would recommend that write your own comments in the notebook and then like that will help you to research a m- lot more then you will get familiar with the things you are not knowing like it will also improve your mm. uh like uh, in one sense it will help you to write good comments that m- mostly people lack lack mm. uh, like this co- uh, quality should be there in each and every programmer to write good comments one more thing 
mm-hmm. that uh, whenever you come across a new code like an unknown code you should start or you should search for it like you should be in one sense uh learn about it and if possible like contact the author mm-hmm. of the notebook in the comment section like uh, how the code works or what it the code is for like this will also help you to uh, uh, uh create a good discussion so now now you're right now you're on kaggle and uh, obviously um there is a lot of things you told like okay if you don't understand a piece of code you you can ask the in the comments or you if you if you uh, if you have some doubts you can ask the com- uh, you know in the comments or write documentation all of this is right right but uh, it is you know uh, data science comparatively is different little hard in terms of grasping the knowledge and all of that right so what you used to do when you felt you felt the def- difficulty so what what was your uh, decision or steps that you took when you felt that you got to a difficult point and you how did you go past that see it's up to people like if you have a great mindset and interest like things like looks easier and it's easy to implement them like but if not it's not the case then easy things also look hard so in my case i was really passionate mm-hmm. like if you connect things to a life like in my case uh, i connected like i was having a bit difficulty in learning maths like in first year mm-hmm. when i saw ml i was like oh maths how i i was mm-hmm. so upset so but when i mm-hmm. uh, take interest in maths uh, it was like oh maths just chill man then like mm-hmm. i connected maths with data science and data science with my career and, and my career was my life so in mm-hmm. indirectly Uh, right. If you connect something with your life, it's the things look easier and go, went well. And uh, how many hours did you put in practice for learning, uh, Prashant? Like I was not having any restrictions by my parents. So uh, like if like if you dedicate two hours daily, it will is just completely fine and enough. Uh, I used to like I was like I mentioned I want to know more and more stuff. So I used to put four hours, five hours. Like it's not. like it's not average but mm. okay in, in fact in one sense okay fine okay <laughs> so do you do some physical activities or no or you just spend all yeah. the time learning uh, all this thing prashad <laughs> like in uh, one sense like i uh, like it's okay like i walk i go for a walk and like it's like taking a be- breaks in between like it's yeah it's also mm. very important for taking care of health for a great mindset good now you covered all of, m- most topics in terms of what uh, was there in terms of learning plan getting on to uh, kaggle uh, learning data science um, how you f- how you go when you f- you know face difficulties now another thing is uh, basically linkedin is is a portion that uh, uh, is crucial to how you build your network and then get heard or seen right so how do you do get introduced to linkedin and then how did you create your own profile and uh, how you started participating in comments and uh, you know start putting your own content there on linkedin firstly uh, i was not knowing about linkedin like uh, like i mm-hmm. on the day i turned 16 i just that day i created my profile on 1 january <laughs> like then like before that mm-hmm. i thought okay i have to turn 16 first then i will just move on this stuff uh, then i got to know about gary when mm-hmm. Chuck, like uh, Gary Vee sir, like, actually helped many people to get recognized for uh, with mm-hmm. his thoughts. Like I was really moved mm-hmm. with it with his thoughts. Like so, I uh, started like uh, creating my profile. Like it was really fun to mention you, mention yourself, and uh, creating good profile. Then, mm-hmm. uh, like it's very really very important to. be consistent with your work like firstly i was not mm-hmm. uh, consistent like i was not used to just post things like now i'm uh, more frequent uh, this is something that mm-hmm. everyone should follow like uh, being more active on social media like if you want to recognize yourself and your business it's really very important to create your personal brand and something like mm-hmm. to make yourself recognize on the social media and people should know this fact that mm. that how you can uh, 
grow yourself by using the power of digital age and so uh, rightly said gary venucher uh, inspired me also to go there and uh, start documenting and putting your content there awesome uh, prashant now uh, speaking of books um, uh, you know you uh, read a couple of books and uh, crushing it is one of them but what other books uh, do you read like other than academics book i not used to read a lot like now i'm okay like i'm really passionate about reading like when i joined linkedin i mm-hmm. used to read a lot of posts like that inspired me a lot like reading posts mm-hmm. by other uh, users like sharing their ju- life journey like it's really fascinating to uh, hear from other people so prashant one more question before uh, you know we we uh, move on so now uh, now that you learned data science and you are in linkedin what what is your future uh, learning plans or what's your future plans on linkedin yeah in one sense i would uh, say that i just don't want to stick to one domain like that that mm-hmm. was one main motto of me like for entering data science like you have to have knowledge for various domains like you should have domain knowledge of various mm-hmm. skills this was something that i prefer mm-hmm. data science for then i want also i want to work in various fields like ai and human welfare like uh, i also want to mm-hmm. just work mm-hmm. with psychology and ai to like to make it mm-hmm. worth and uh, like coming up with something that could help world with uh, world issues like world mental issues and something like that and also Wow. that i want to quote one thing that i am getting my three minutes of the day but there are many people who don't so i want i feel that my, it's my responsibility to feed them and help them like it's really very important to remove the social barriers and irregularities of mm-hmm. the society wow that is very inspiring prashant to hear that you have such noble go- goals and um, you know i would i would like to ask this one question um, let's say now a lot of 10th uh, class students or let's say 9th class students are looking at you and if you had to give three advices to them on starting their journey for programming and data science what is the top three advice you will give give to them uh, in fact i want to give my message to a larger audience like audience over there like mm-hmm. i want to give a general message mm-hmm. to all of them uh like firstly mm-hmm. you should start be more active on linkedin like uh, platforms like linkedin <laughs> and twitter like this is this is yes. very important mm-hmm. like uh, people don't understand like mm-hmm. they think that uh, platform, uh, like social media is just for entertainment but no like you can do really amazing mm-hmm. stuff on this platforms like if you use them wisely then uh, second mm-hmm. thing that world is full of opportunities like even if you don't Mm-hmm. have one create one it's not big deal to mm-hmm. get opportunities or you can create your own, yourself like and think that you just start like just take the first step like i in my case i took the first step like just took my thought that okay i want to uh, be data scientist in uh, like whatever it takes me to do so and then mm-hmm. like like as i mentioned i was really inspired by gary v sir and also i am really inspired by alan musk uh, so the visionary mm-hmm. and revolutionary like uh, his whole life is really very inspiring to me uh, like i said i mm-hmm. should say i must say that me or very inspired by alan musk like uh, these two people mm-hmm. really changed my thoughts and life mm-hmm. and also i want to mention that mm-hmm. that uh, you sh- you keep firm belief in yourself like if you don't have right. like that self respect self awareness and self confidence like you, you you won't get anything mm-hmm. like uh, a quote from mm-hmm. uh, crushing it i really it really crushed me very hard that if you are not crushing it mm-hmm. it's not because you are too mm-hmm. old or poor uh, or have mm-hmm. many other responsibilities it's, it's because you are not you are not having uh, you haven't fully committed to take to making it the uh, leap yet and so there uh, you go uh, that's the message from uh, prashant 
and uh, really inspired by how you uh, how you took up the uh, you know the opportunity to go use psychology use uh, you know and do something in the mental field and to be able to feel feed everybody and uh, truly inspired by your journey prashant and uh, thank you for sharing your journey also inspiring others and uh, thank you for coming on the show and taking your time to give us your journey i just want to uh, a word of thanks to my yep. parents for having for supporting me a lot and to my well wishers and my friends who are always there to cherish me with their words of motivation and i'm also very, really very grateful to you for having me on the show thank you so much